Okay, everybody, let's head out to our first location. Clap your hands on three. One, two, three. that you made it back to our next class, World Class Drums. Welcome back. I'm glad you came back to the class. You can tell that I have all of these world class drums around me from all different types of countries. This one here I'm playing is called the talking drum. No, the drum does not talk by itself, but when you play it, it creates a rhythm, like this. Well, how do you think I've changed that pitch on that drum? I'm gonna play it one more time. Keep your eyes on me. Think you know how I changed that pitch? As you can tell, the string, the kike string, which I was telling you about that actually creates the music when you press down with either your hands or the original way that they play is they usually use a cloth they put around them and they pull it with their arm and they use this hand here that is the original way that they play the talking drum in Senegal. Also, as you can tell, in Senegal, they use all the resources that they can to create, to make a gorgeous sounding drum. And also, even down to the cloth that they use, which we call tie-dye cloth. As you can see, they use all the elements that they can to create a musical instrument. Now, let's go to a handmade talking drum to a factory talking drum and let's break it all down. Now, as you can see, I have another talking drum here, which is a factory talking drum and I'm glad that I have this one here for you to see because as you can see already the, the wood is handmade, right? The string here is uh, wow, this is stronger than kite uh, wire, that's for sure. And then also, you can see here that they use another different type of skin here, which looks like it might be a little cowhide skin here on this one. But they use the same technique as the original talking drum, as you can see, two talking drums here. The reason the string is hanging down, because I'm glad that I broke it all the way down for you, so you can actually see how they make a talking drum. Well, first, obviously, you know, they have to have a little curved wood there. And then they have to put the skin on. They have to create the rim. And they also have to put holes in the rim so the skin can come down. And, as you notice, on this side here, this is what it looks like when it's hollow inside there. See? That's what it looks like inside. This here is the skin. Very thin skin there, as you can see. Man-made, and this is handmade. And don't forget, recycle. You can make your own drums using your kitchen utensils.
can you believe a drum without the skin shaved off? Wow, some tribes play their drums and leave the skin on. Most of the drums that I brought to the classroom, you have noticed that the skin is shaved off. But this still has a nice warm sound. I like that. Also, what I notice about this, it kind of almost looks like a chubby, chubby bata. Like, oh, oh, because it has, wow, on this side and that side. I've never actually played this side. Let's see. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, interesting. As you can tell, this drum here is a original drum from Ghana. And this drum here, you can see the skin and see how they stretched it on there. Well, as you can tell, this is not a drum. This is a go-go bell. But this is a very important instrument in parts of the music that you play. Now, why I'm glad I have this is because guess what? If you can play the go-go bell or two spoons, or let's try this pattern. I think you might recognize that pattern because you'll never mess up if you sing to yourself. Have some fun, 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 have some fun. Have some fun. Have some fun. Go Go Bell from Brazil. But now what we're going to do is I'm going to use that pattern. Remember, when I play the drums, you play the Go Go pattern. Here we go. Well, if you recognize in our last video, then you probably recognize this little drum here. I love this little tambourine. It's a great tambour, but also I can use it as a drum like in Brazil. Not really. That probably wouldn't be the drum that they would use. Let's go to the next drum. I call that the baby drum. Oh, let's go to the brother drum. Ooh, you can already hear the different sounds. Don't forget that go-go bell part. Remember that go-go bell part was... Some fun, have some fun, okay? Don't forget that part. Here we go. Dumbo. This is an awesome drum, too. Let's go to another country, but also a Brazilian instrument. Now, ooh, let's go to India. Now, India. I love this, like the finger drum. Now, can you clap that pattern with me at home? Use your ears now. Use your ears. Here we go. Now, guess what? While you're playing that pattern, your mom and dad can do the dance. And this is how we're going to do the Indian dance. First pattern. That is the pattern. Mom, dad, this is the dance. Hands up. And you just do that head around like that. Okay? And you're going to be doing the dance. 
Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to come through the TV and come over to the living room too and see this. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Here we go. Ah, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Yes. Yes. I know. It looks like a tambourine, right? Well, here in America, we play our tambourines like, I'm going down to the river. No, but in Brazil, they don't play their tambourines like that. They play their tambourines with the thumb. And here you go. Thumb, heel, toe. Thumb, heel, toe. Now, let's do a lesson. Let's stay at home. Practice this. Thumb, heel, toe. Here we go. Thumb, heel, toe. Let's make a song. Thumb, heel, toe. Thumb, heel, toe. Keep going. Thumb, heel, toe. Now you gotta keep those fingers together. Thumb, heel, toe. Thumb, heel, toe. And when you practice that, remember, always go slow. You can hear it in the music. I can hear it in the drum. Wow. Now, the dance with that one, mom and dad should go. Two, three. One, two, three. And dad, you got to move those arms. One, two, three. Let's go. One, two, three. And mom, dad, if we speed up the tempo, you're going to have to go faster. Here we go. Also different patterns when you have an instrument you kind of make the instrument your own so if you learn a couple of things patterns which that is thumb heel toe you can always create your own pattern in that so remember everything you do is good Wow, the Dayabinge drum from Jamaica. I love this drum. This is also made out of a tree as well, as you can see. It's really hard to tell the type of wood that they used on here. I'm going to say maybe oak, but it's so light. I'm going to have to find out what real wood did they use. But the Dayabinge drum is a really basic drum from Jamaica. As you can see, the hardware is handmade here and also using screws to tighten down the skinhead. Now it seems like this might be cowhide. Cowhide skin is really uh, a heavy tone. I love the tone and it's a warm tone. This is a Dayabinge rhythm. Everyone say Dayabinge. Dayabinge! 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 Now I'm going to show you how to play the real Dayabinge rhythm. And you can do it. Here we go.
Thank you for waiting. Now, I'm here to show you this beautiful, beautiful djembe. This is an awesome drum. Uh, this drum here is so powerful. You don't even actually have to play loud at all. You can actually just play your regular pattern and it comes out of the bottom sounding like a bass drum. You have no idea. Wow, let's see if you can hear this. Huh? Wow, I bet you can feel that all the way through the TV there. Yes, well that's the bass sound here. That's how you get that bottom. This here is the high note. And this is the slap. So you really have how many notes in a drum? Well, this particular djembe, you only have how many? Three notes, count with me. One, two, three. So let's go through those three notes. One, two, three, slap. One, two, three, slap. Here we go. One, two, three, slap. Only three notes. I know it sounds like a lot. I'm called Jimbe. Why do I have two djembe jings? Because one has a different voice than the other voice. I love this sometimes when I play. It's warm. And when I play this sometimes and I'm outside, it's loud. So I have two options that I can play with these drums here. Now this one here, let's see if you recognize the pitch on this. Ooh, let's turn this one over. Two different pitches. Those are the basses. Okay, let's do the open note. That's open note there. That's open note there. See, two different notes. Each drum has its own personality. So when you find an instrument and you play it one time and it feels good inside, it belongs to you. play two of them at the same time. Let's see if we can make this happen. Here we go. Now, if I play this one, I'm going to have to play in flat like this on the ground. Normally when you play a djembe, you play it in between your legs. 
But since I can't hold two djembe's in between my legs, I'm gonna hold them flat. Wow, let's play have some fun. Now I can switch that pattern and let's do it like this. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Gym bay. This bata comes from Cuba. Wow. In Cuba, they play a lot of bata rhythms there. And also, not only in Cuba, they play all over the world. People play bata in Africa, Brazil, Peru. Everyone plays bata in certain circles of music. You hear this music. Bata is a very, very special drum. Speaking about why is it so special is because it has two different drum heads on it. Now, what I love about this drum so much, when you warm a drum up, it's like you warm the whole body up. Because when I put it in the sun, the pitch is really nice and you can also hear the overtones as well. You have to treat a drum like you treat your skin. Because if a drum head gets cold, it sounds flat. If a drum head gets really nice and warm, it's easy to play on your hands. And also the pitch is gorgeous. As you can see, I'm playing a small doon doon drum here. We're constantly traveling the world of drums from all over the world. And remember, each tribe plays their own different types of rhythm. So when you start to play drums, you are always learning. You're always trying to figure out what rhythm do they play? What rhythm do they play? And then what you do, you make a whole library of it, your own book and you come out with beautiful music.
that you made it back to our next class, World Class Drums. Remember, you are the star at the House of Samba. Yeah, I share, I share.